Welcome to the Storm, and today we are unboxing the Avengers Infinity War SH Figure Arts War Machine Mark IV. This is by Bandai and the Tamashii Nations. If you want to know your um, SH Figure Arts are real, there. If you're trying to get it secondhand. And the box, it is completely like this. And the back, it shows all of War Machine's action poses. And by the way, it comes with the stand. It's had all my figures that I want. doesn't have a stand. But anyways, let's open it. So here's the closer look at the back. And then, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And let's open it. So this is in, in the packaging. But first, you have to take it out. Oh, this is actually heavy. Oh, this is really heavy. But first, you need to take out the plastic. Make sure it doesn't get into your joints. Real foot take iron and get stick in his joints. Um, up, go up, down, good. The feet is heavy. So if it, I think you can do flip and it can land on his feet. I think you can do that. But definitely, I think it's definitely bigger than Captain Marvel. Definitely bigger than Iron Man. This figure would be a disappointment if it doesn't have a good ab crunch. So now you can... That is pretty decent. That is Mark Legend's build figure. Some build figures. Mm, she, he is taller, so... But as he is taller than Z Iron Mano. He's in about the same height. But he's definitely taller, but about the same height. So weird. The back doesn't look that much of paid attention but it does look of paid attention. Just doesn't look as much paid attention as the front. Does have a good out butterfly joint. So, and it comes out. So, let's get into the accessories, and I have no idea how to do it. So, it goes up, down, um, up, down, push out, push in, butterfly, goes up, go, um, feels like a double joint, but it isn't double jointed. Here, here, you cannot remove it, and, um, Ab crunch, swivel, down, drop, up, up like this, but down like this too. So it's really different articulation. Knee, double, down, up, and down, down. No up, just down like the Tony Stark figure. It's like, Ooh, like the Iron Man part ready. Hey, Iron Man, let's tippy toe, but without ma making our foot go up. This is fully armorized war machine. So in the back, there's some flaps and articulation here. Like, like, yeah, there's more articulation on this one. On this one, there's more articulation on this. And it doesn't. But the gun mount, you can remove that to make him have his signature thingy. Sadly, you can, like, do a wrist missile. Sad, sad, sad face. The armor looks nice. And then there's just, like, random pegs that you just peg in. No more articulation that is added in this, just to look cool. So let's check on the stand. This stand is pretty weak on putting the Iron Man Mark Seven on it with the underwear, with the underpiece. You cannot really make him stand. As you can see, he goes down the next second. But if you want to make him like running like this, yeah, you can do that. You can make him run. It's the exact same like stand as the Mark 50 weapon set. So yeah. And the stand, if you don't want to put it in the box, like I don't prefer it to do, but you can put it in this container. So 
because honestly, would you always like assemble all of this? All of this? Instead of doing that, you can just keep it in this container. Yeah, I'll do that. So here's it, war machine. Weird enough, on this hand, it is red, like it's supposed to be. But on this hand, the one that it, it's his fist hand, I can't, no, I think you can see it. Right. But on this hand, it is black. So unlike this hand, on the Mark Seven, sorry for that banging, but on the Mark Seven, there is white. So it is. This is an older figure versus a new figure. And I don't understand how this has more detail than the newer one. It was kind of easy to see like the Iron Man Mark, um, Iron Man 3, Tony Stark. But next to this one, it, it's of course better articulation on this one. This one came out before and this one is newer. Blast effect hand with the peg. And there's also blast effect for the feet. And right here there is the other hands with the red and red, and no red here, sadly. But yeah, this is a pretty nice figure. So let's do a conclusion. So I rate this a figure a B, a B, a B plus. I, I don't, like the only thing that worsens this figure is the assembly and the hand, this hand lacking any red paint. And the, Another lacking part is he can't go up because he's a full-on Iron Man 3. Well, he's ballerina dancing. War Machine doesn't ballerina dance. Tell me that. Show me a picture. Picture it. So, goodbye, Iron Man, Sonic, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Iron Man, War Machine, Thanos, Captain Marvel, and Thanos fans. Oh, he tears over War Machine, but it does look like they're in scale. And I hope War Machine doesn't get crushed in Avengers Endgame. I think you already know that. So goodbye and have a good day. Bye.